This is the front gas locker. There's a bucket with various cleaning fluids in there. Your toilet, chemicals, a sponge if you need to clean uh, things down too. This is where we nicely strap in our water barrel. And I've just tied the bucket on here using the strap so it doesn't fall over and rattle. You need to be careful in the gas locker that there are quite large vent holes in the front of it and that's deliberately designed so gas, if it leaks, can go out. But that means anything, uh, relative, anything much smaller than this can actually fall out through those vents. Now your gas bottle can take two gas bottles and there's a switch to choose what gas bottle you use but one gas bottle should be fine for most people. There's a gas fuse here which you need to know how it works. You can see that's on empty. If we open this anti-clockwise, the gas bottle will then open. We need to pump this button by depressing the gauge a few times. And then you can see that you've got full gas and you're in your green section there. If you need to fill up your gas bottle and remove the black nut here, put some water with soap in there and, and squirt it over there and you'll see gas bubbles uh, coming up if you haven't sufficiently tightened it. Always travel with your gas turned off. And to turn it off we turn it clockwise like so. Your chocks can be stored in your gas locker and again use chocks if you're not on, uh, on level ground. This one here is actually a leveling block and you can drive the van up and choose a variety of heights should you need to do it but probably on a twin axle um, that's going to be a bit complicated to do because you need two of them on, uh, on each wheel too. If you get stuck with your towing vehicle, uh, this can give you a little bit of traction too. You may need to stick a little peg in the hole. Hopefully you won't need anything like that. There are front uh, protective... Oh, one thing is you need to lock the, uh, the gas locker, of course, with your two locks here. There are front protective towing uh, covers too. That's to stop damage to the windscreens if there's uh, stone chips and also the front of the van. You need to, um, you can probably leave them on if it suits you, but the bottom section to access the gas locker you'll need to remove. These just nicely strap on here. And make sure there's not too much tension because if it's too tight you can actually rip it. It may creep down a little bit too. There's a little side piece here which goes into the awning rail and every one of these clips should have its corresponding home to go into. You may have to loosen them off initially particularly as well and just keep on going down and of course this one here goes in like, I'll loosen that, pop that in, this one here goes on like so, this one here I think goes on like so. There is a pair of straps that go underneath the little feet and if you put the feet down with this on here you may end up breaking it. So I'm clipping that one on there and this one here like so. So that's tied on right underneath on the little landing feet there. Then there's one strap which goes underneath the A-frame here and clips on like so. So that's the side of it done and we just need to check the tension that nothing's terribly too tight or too loose and just give it a little bit of a tug as it's loose. That's right and that's right so very good to have because if you have a broken windscreen that's uh, expensive to fix and we want to keep the van in good condition too. Thank you.